Andre Medvedev takes a moment to calm his nerves with a final smoke and wraps up a call before meeting us for an interview. Inside this Oslo hotel room, he looks out at the view and points to an area of the city where he's discreetly living for now. He fled Russia three weeks ago by scrambling over its remote Arctic border with Norway. Camouflaged in white, he said he evaded dogs and even bullets before reaching the other side and banging on the door of a home. Excuse me, uh, I'm from Russia. He motioned to the border and was picked up by the authorities a short time later. He's been questioned by the police ever since, about the four months he was fighting for the Wagner military group, a secretive private force that Russia is using to charge the front lines in eastern Ukraine. So you were sent to, to Bakhmut, and what were you doing there? When it comes to any details of war crimes, I can't comment because I'm giving evidence. Medvedev, a former commander, is careful what he says because he doesn't want to jeopardize his asylum claim in a country he says he's desperate to stay in. He told us he willingly signed up for the Wagner Group after being released from jail in July. What attracted me initially was the impression that we are really helping the people of Donbass. We are freeing them from something. But when I got there, I saw for myself what was really going on. This entire cemetery in Russia is dedicated to Wagner fighters killed in Ukraine. Medvedev says he can't shake the images of bodies and body parts from his mind, and says he personally witnessed Russian men being executed because they were unwilling to fight. That's why Medvedev says his life was in danger in Russia. He handed in his tags and said he didn't want to fight anymore. It was obvious and understandable that no matter how much I hid, that sooner or later they would find me. They would kill me. Just kill me. In Norway, police say he's being treated as a witness, but others see him much differently. This member of a terrorist group, he has been allowed to walk freely in Oslo. Members of Norway's Ukrainian community have been rallying here in front of the parliament every day since Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine. They believe Medvedev doesn't deserve protection, even though he now says he believes the war is wrong and regrets signing up to fight. Uh, let him uh, talk to the Ukrainian judge in Ukraine, get the verdict, and then we can hear to his regrets. Yes, because can you imagine that he has killed I don't know how many, but he has killed people, he has, he has killed Ukrainians, but now he is walking quite uh, along these uh, streets in Norway peacefully. So there will be people that will hear your story that will say, you joined this military group by choice. Why should you get protection now? People need to imagine, at least for a second, and put themselves in my shoes and try to imagine being brought up in this patriotism. By that he means consumed by the propaganda, which he says he only stopped believing once he arrived in Ukraine. I'm saying this war should not have happened at all. I realized what Russia was doing in Ukraine. The seizure of territories through military action and the expansion of the borders of the Russian Federation. I'm sure many people have the same opinion as me. My fighters, who I continue to communicate with, who are back home now, Many of them regret being there. He feels fortunate that he escaped the war and then Russia, and is now hoping that Norway will decide to let him stay.